Sponsored by RxCardClub.com. Get a free prescription drug card and save up to 85% on prescription drugs. RxCardClub.com, AP Sports Summary Brief at 2.52 p.m. MDT. Tyreek Hill says he could have handled his traffic stop better but he still wants the officer fired. Miami Gardens, Florida, AP, Miami Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill is acknowledging that he could have handled himself better in the initial moments of a traffic stop Sunday that left him handcuffed and pulled out of his car by police officers near the team's stadium. Hill also said he wants one of the officers involved in the incident dismissed from the police force. Hill said Wednesday that he wishes he did some things a bit differently, including leaving the window of his car down when officers instructed him to do so. He rolled up the window instead. The incident escalated quickly from there. NFL averaged 21 million viewers per game for opening week, its highest on record. Los Angeles, AP, the NFL averaged 21.0 million viewers per game during the league's opening week making it the most watched week one on record. The league and Nielsen said Wednesday that the per game average on TV and digital platforms was a 12% increase over last year. Nielsen began electronic measurement of viewing in 1988. All told, 123 million people saw at least part of one game, its highest total for an opening week since 2019. NBC had the most watched game, with defending Super Bowl champion Kansas City's 27-20 victory over Baltimore in last Thursday's opener averaging 29.2 million on TV and digital. Tom Brady's first game as Fox's top analyst, Dallas 33-17 win over Cleveland, averaged 23.93 million. Watson's attorney says QB strongly denies sexual assault lawsuit. Browns to play him Sunday. Maria Ohio, AP, Deshaun Watson's attorney said the Browns quarterback strongly denies allegations made by a woman who says she was sexually assaulted by Cleveland's star four years ago. The woman filed a lawsuit in Texas that says Watson forced himself on her during a dinner date in her apartment four years ago. She's seeking $1 million in damages. The NFL is investigating the lawsuit to see if Watson, who was suspended for 11 games in 2022, has violated the league's personal conduct policy. Attorney Rusty Hardin says Watson will be vindicated. Watson was previously accused of sexual misconduct by two dozen women for inappropriate behavior during massage therapy sessions while he played for Houston. Passing in Week 1 reached its lowest level for any week in the NFL since 2007. From rookies struggling in their first career starts to high-paid quarterbacks not living up to their contracts to rusty veterans coming off injuries, the passing in Week 1 of the NFL season looked to be from a different era. More than half the starting quarterbacks in the NFL failed to reach the usually easy-to-achieve threshold of 200 yards passing in a game in what proved to be the least prolific week for throwing the ball since the 2007 season. In all, teams averaged 188.3 net yards passing per game, the fewest in any week since Week 15 in 2007.